Clay Bartlett and Beth Fowler are a couple who run a small farm called Big Sky Ventures. They specialize in growing a berry called Sea Buckthorn, a unique berry from the Himalayas that is known for its many health benefits. Clay was doing some research prior to 2010 to help his daughter's diabetes. And then he came across this uh, world superfruit uh, called Sea Buckthorn and then decided to take a look at the healing components of the fruit and how to make it successful, and here we are today. So sea buckthorn is one of the most nutritionally complete fruits on the planet. With 190 bioactives, it has different types of applications, culinary applications, nutraceutical applications, pharmaceutical applications. It has omega-3, 6, 9, and 7, and it is one of the true super fruits in the world. Sea buckthorn has been in recorded history for thousands of years. One such recording is Genghis Khan when he crossed the mountains to invade. They left their horses on one side of the mountain. They expected those horses to be deceased when they returned, but they were in excellent health with a shiny coat, thus the name Hiptane Ramnoi, which means shiny coat in Latin. I originally discovered sea buckthorn um, when I was re researching for something around the world to help my daughter with her diabetes. She grew up as a fragile diabetic, so I brought the first 3,000 plants in and I planted this field in her name, Canada's Revenge. The sea buckthorn is not a native species to Canada. It originates in the Himalayan regions of the world. We have imported many varieties of plants from these Himalayan regions around the world, as well as Europe and brought them to Canada, brought them to New Brunswick to do comparison studies on what works best for us in this province. Here at Big Sky Orchard and Winery, being organic is a very important process for us. We are trying to bring one of the healthiest fruits on the planet to Canadians, and we're trying to present it in the healthiest way we know how. Growing sea buckthorn organically requires a lot of time and dedication the plants themselves fix large amounts of nitrogen from the air back into the soil, which makes all the competition grow very well. We control all this manually through mowing and weed whacking by hand. We also use things like ladybugs to control aphid pests that we might have in our orchard. We have wild turkeys on site that run around to help control pests, but we believe that the end product is well worth the effort. Sea buckthorn has no separation layer between the berry and the stem. So for ease of harvesting, what we do, we actually clip the whole branch. We take off all the green. And then we freeze the fruit overnight on the branch and thrash it off the next day. Sea buckthorn are very unique in the fact that they create no nectar to attract the bee because of their elevation. So they only wind pollinate males pollinate females. Males produce no fruit. Uh, another unique factor is they actually crown from the bottom and sea buckthorn fruit only grows from second year growth. So where there's fruit on this year, next year the fruit would be out here on the second year growth. A couple more things about sea buckthorn, how we actually grow it. We try to promote regrowth of the plant so we take everything off during harvest let the dormant buds from the main stem produce new shoots, which will produce fruit on the second year. I'm gonna show you how to add sea buckthorn into your diet, fairly simple. We've got some sea buckthorn fudge here. We just add the juice and the powder into the recipe. We've got some just regular salsa, and then you just add a little bit of powder in there to make sure you get that into your diet and just mix it up. We also have tea. So this is tea leaf from the sea buckthorn plant and we just make a regular green tea with that. And we've got a charcuterie board and we've got juice. So what we would do is make a regular juice and then add our sea buckthorn juice in there as well. Sea buckthorn has 15 to 30 times the vitamin C of an orange and that's a great and easy way to get it into your morning juice. A lot of people don't know that sea buckthorn can be turned into wine and liquors, but it can. We do that on site here. This is some 2021 fruit just harvested, which will be turned into wine and liqueurs. It'll be crushed, fermented, and then distilled, or bottled, fermented as wine.
Uh, the best part is making sure that we're growing a fruit that people can enjoy, that they're getting the health benefit of the fruit, that they're getting it sustainably, organically, the best way that we know how to grow it, and that, yeah, that we can enjoy the process along with it and we can be together during that process. Yes, it truly is wonderful when somebody comes back to the orchard after a couple of years and it tells you the health benefits that they gain from sea buckthorn or the experience they've had with it, the culinary experience. It's truly a wonderful yeah. thing. Yeah.